Welcome back, Average Joes. We're back at another one. We are on another walleye adventure in Algonquin Park. And uh, we got a new microphone for the GoPro, so if the audio sounds a little bit better, that's why. And uh, I'm just sitting here thinking. We're, uh, we turned onto the park road here now. And uh, yeah, guys ever just go out, you know, whenever you're going fishing or camping or whatever, and you get to the road, kind of you're turning on, get that feeling like you know you feel good things are gonna be good it's a beautiful day today sun's out it's hot it's 30 28 degrees and uh, it's the day after the cold a cold front came in yesterday rained all day yesterday so hopefully I'm thinking the fish will be biting now that the cold front's over giant walleye I'll try to catch a few walleye and have a catch clean cook if we can so yeah stay tuned guys make sure you like comment subscribe Really appreciate everybody that's uh, watching our videos and the people that have already subscribed. So if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's get in the action. All right, guys, we're back at it. On the water in the kayak. Just decided I'm gonna troll down the, troll down the river here and see what we can do. Took a little bit longer to get here than I thought. And uh, we're trolling now. So, see what we can do. We're in about 20 feet of water right now, just going right up the channel. That's something good here. Little walleye. Right on. Felt like a good walleye too. Or felt like a nice one anyway. Probably about a 13 inch, maybe. There we go. Nice little guy, he's too little, too small to keep, but beautiful fish nonetheless. Just on the troll, we'll get him on the release. Another nice walleye. This one looks like a keeper. If I can get him. Oh, he come off. Oh, I found a nice school of them right here. Nothing really special about the spot. I was just trolling down and uh, trolled one, as you guys seen, maybe in about a 13 incher. So I thought maybe I'll just sit here for a few minutes and try to jig one up because when you jig, the sun's up high right now and you really slow down and you really fish out an area. There we go. Oh, it feels good. I think we found a little school of them here. Another beauty. Maybe give him a quick measure. If he's 14, we'll keep him. If he's less, we'll let him go. Just about 14. So we're gonna keep this guy. He's not a bad size one for the old catch and cook. Beauty. All right. Been trolling with the old Wally Diver. Gonna put it away, pull out the jig. Made it to uh, where we wanna be for a little bit. So I'm gonna get out the jig again. And I'm just gonna fish this whole area nice and slow. Pick it right apart. See if we can get a couple nice fish. Then we'll get into the uh, cook part of this catch and cook. Got something big on here. Or it's snag. But it feels big. Oh yeah. What is this? Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. I think it's a big pike or a muskie. No. Oh, it's a big, big, big walleye. Giant walleye. 
giant walleye. Oh my God. Giant walleye. Oh my God. Oh, I got him. That's a 10 pounder and the hook popped off. Oh my God. Look at the size of that pickerel. That's a 10 pounder. It's a giant. Okay. I gotta go to shore and get some pictures. Okay. He's been in the net reviving. I'm gonna get one more look at him and then we're gonna release him. There we go. Oh my God. Oh. I'm soaked. The fish released really well. Got to check my line, check my hooks, check everything. Line is good. Hook looks good. That's what I got him on. Three and a quarter inch Z-Man. Tyler, if you're watching, I caught him off your tree, bud. And he hammered it. I thought it was a big muskie when I first seen him. And and then when he got right beside the boat, I seen the big eyes. Oh my God, it's a big walleye. Oh. Nice walleye. Oh, same spot. This guy's small, he'll go back. Beauty. There's a nice one. Nice walleye, good eater. There we go, good eater. On that Streak Z, another one. This one's really gold. Another one, beauty, about a 14 inch. And uh, we'll get them on the stringer. But I think the majority of the current coming off this, ooh, how to bite. Majority of the, the water coming off this rapids is uh, it's coming onto this side. So it's pushing all the bait coming down the river to this side. And for some reason, all the fish seem to be stacked up right by this tree here. I guess there's deep water behind me and they can push in. You know, they're not in the super fast current. There's still a little bit of current, fresh oxygenated water. So I guess, you know, maybe, maybe that's the reason where I caught that big one, he was 10 feet of water. I don't know, I mean, I guess it is a river, so the fish are gonna be different than in lakes, but crazy all right guys that's gonna wrap up the fishing portion I'm gonna get into the cooking portion right now but I just wanted to say what an unreal evening I think we managed about 10 walleye and one giant so let's keep this momentum rolling everybody subscribe smash that thumbs up button make sure you're staying tuned to the next one never know when we're gonna catch a big one we get in that cooking portion right now. All right, we just got back. Got the walleye in the fridge. It's a couple days later, we're gonna cook this up. Really been enjoying this uh, crispy Cajun. Put that in the bag. Oil's getting hot. Got our nice fresh pickerel, just caught the other day. Give her a nice shake. There we go. Nice fresh plate of pickerel and I'm gonna get some barbecue sauce and I'm gonna get eating that, it looks delicious. So if you like what you're seeing guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one, I'm Lyle, we are The Average Joes. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.